all right. We are all in burlesque for one reason and one reason alone, and that is to loan. You weren't expecting that, were you? <laughs> <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Cherry Cheeks and today we are just going to dive right into education. There are so many resources and books and online resources and videos. Where do I even begin? If you're just starting to want to learn about history or the legends or what burlesque is or how to perform it or how to get into it, these are just some of the resources. There are many. Sit right back, grab our popcorn and dig right in. One of the very first resources that I think is really awesome for people to learn about and to really get the idea of like what is burlesque, what is a burlesque legend, what did burlesque used to look like and get a really great overview is called Behind the Barley Cue by Leslie Zemeckis. The great thing about this is they have two versions. They are definitely different and they are their own independent resources but there is a book which has a lot of information on what burlesque looked like back in the day and how burlesque performers used to perform and what the circuit was and how much it has really changed now to what it used to look like. And then there's a video as well. Both resources, the book and the video, include interviews with burlesque legends and producers and people who owned venues. And both of them have really, really great insights into just what burlesque was and even is today. I do think they are both fantastic for people who are just starting to want to learn about our history. Next up is kind of a continuation of burlesque legends and what is burlesque and what does it look like? What is a burlesque legend? Do they even perform today still? All of these questions and more are answered in the handy dandy DVD League of Exotic Dancers. Da, 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 da. It sh sounds like it's shuffling. <laughs> The League of Exotic Dancers is one of my favorite documentaries. I watch it every year. It interviews so many burlesque legends who are both still living and some who have passed on since the DVD was released. The DVD is really awesome because it has those interviews and it has a lot of really those first-hand experience stories and retellings and even talking about burlesque today through a legend's eyes. Judith Stein has some amazing things in here and Lovey Goldmine has some really cool stuff and really like what it looks like to step back onto a stage for the first time after retiring. There's also Holiday O'Hara, so many amazing burlesque legends who have set the stage on fire, leaving that trailblaze for us today where we are. If you can get a hold of this DVD, I highly, highly recommend it. It is worth the watch and it is worth keeping for a long time. Once you are part way through those resources or after you finish, maybe you just realize exactly how cool our legends are and how much they've done for us and you really want to know more and you're like, who are these legends? What did they do? What was their life like? There's just so many burlesque legends who either are passed on now or who are still alive, who are still performing. Um, many were also producers and venue owners. Many were really cool with secret identities and traveling overseas and winning awards and medals of honor. We just have such a diverse history in burlesque that it, it influences not just burlesque but even the greater picture and globally and it's so cool to see. So who are some of these really rad people? Well, I'm going to start off with one of my absolute favorite burlesque legends. Um, she has quite a few books out. She just has such a cool life and she has done so much for people. Um, and some of you may or may not know her. I know a lot of history buffs, whether or not you know burlesque, know about her, uh, is Josephine Baker. The book that I own is Josephine Baker's Last Dance and she does have many more, but this is a biography uh, written by Sherry Jones. And it's just talking about her history and where she came from and her experiences as a black woman and being the biggest burlesque performer of her time. She traveled through Europe, may or may not have been a spy, but you will have to read the book to find out. The amount of work that she's done both in burlesque and human rights and civil rights for the black community. She is a super cool, cool performer who I think everybody has to know about. Some other legends that are pretty nifty or the story is really cool. Maybe you really like fan dancing and you really like classic burlesque and you're more interested in where did this come from? Fun fact, I share a birthday with one of them, which is Sally Rand and also, I don't share a birthday, but <laughs> Faith Bacon. You can actually get the book Feuding Fan Dancers, which again is by Les 
Lisa Meckes. And so this is talking about really where the Fellow Fan came from. And both of these performers, Sally Rand and Faith Bacon, claim to be the original fan dancers, um, or at least the original ones who made it famous. There's a lot of back and forth in the book about who was really responsible, who was really the big ordeal, according to the sources that were interviewed for this book. This is really cool because it does talk about those dynamics and it does talk about so many things that even are applicable today. It just kind of goes through the stories. Feeding Fan Dancers by Leslie Zemeckis. And the last book that I have for you about a phenomenal legend. This one is an autobiography. This again is a legend who unfortunately has passed away now. She is no longer with us, but she has been such a huge influence on the burlesque community and she really was a mother to a lot of people. And so she has a story that I think anybody should read and everybody should know about, especially if you're in the queer community. I think it's really important that we uplift our queer burlesque legends because we have a lot of them. It's really easy to see the histories get erased and so I'm really glad that that this performer was able to write her own autobiography before she passed away. This is Morinka from Havana to Burlesque. And for those of you who do not know Morinka, she is a, a transgender burlesque performer from Cuba. She has retellings of her life, people she's dated, her experiences in burlesque and transitioning, and even up to how she was doing up until the end of this book. And it does have photos as well um, of Morinka throughout her performances and throughout her life. Morinka is such a big inspiration. Everybody should read this book, buy the audiobook, whatever you need to read it. She has a really, really good history and was such a huge part of the community and has done so much for all of us. And last but definitely not least, again, there are hundreds of burlesque books out there. These are just some of them I hope that they help, but maybe you're at that stage where like, okay, I'm ready for burlesque or I'm just studying to take a burlesque class. Is there a book or a resource or a DVD that kind of talks about that and just how to get into it? Well, luckily there's one very lovely human, Jo Weldon, who has her own book, The Burlesque Handbook. This is a staple on a lot of burlesque performers' bookshelves. This book is literally exactly what it sounds like. It is a handbook for burlesque. How do you do burlesque? Where did burlesque come from? What is burlesque? Uh, what is the fan dance? What are some dance moves? Uh, what are pasties? Talking about imposter syndrome and getting over blocks. Just just a lot. She talks about a lot in this book and so I highly recommend if you're new, even if you're not new, just because there's so many cool, really great insights and Jo Weldon is a phenomenal performer. If you get to take a class from her ever, to her perspective and the way that she words things and the way that she sees burlesque and approaches it is just super, super cool. She also has another book called Fierce, which is about the history of leopard print. This one in particular, I think, is really, really useful for anyone in burlesque. That's it for today. Those are some of the books and DVDs that I have. There's just so many cool resources. There's a lot of people who have blogs and websites and online resources and YouTube channels. I'm really excited to dive into those ones as well. That will be another video. Maybe you have your own resources you want to mention. What's your favorite book? What's your favorite book or DVD about burlesque? Anything you have to mention, I would love to hear it down below. Otherwise, I will see you next time. Feel free to like, subscribe, and hit that cowbell down below if you want to keep up with videos. Until next time, have yourself a wonderful day. Bye!